All right, so let's chat about classroom learning. You, you, you mentioned earlier that there are wastes associated with only classroom learning. So if you only did it the way that I learned, you, you had to come to the classroom. What are those wastes? Well, there's, uh, there's several of them here, and uh, we, we've written a, a paper on it uh, that's called uh, Live Only Learning for Lean Six Sigma is Worse Than You Think. And just to share you uh, share with you a couple of, of ideas in here, I mean, take transportation waste. That's a, a clear one. People have to travel to come to class. But then you've got waiting waste. Not only uh, are you waiting for the class to start, uh, because uh, we're so busy these days, we don't have time for a class, so we're going to go out and we're going to Google something, and we may not get the right answer, or we may, you know. Uh, but you also have uh, people away from their actual job. You have overproduction, where you're, you're putting out vast amount of information to people. It's the drinking out of the fire hose, like you probably experienced in your black belt class. And there's another aspect to it, too, in overproduction, and that's just producing volumes of uh, of of printed materials that are used in class. Uh, motion waste could be inefficient use of classroom time, for example, where you spend time teaching the basics. Your class is only going to go as fast as your slowest person, mm -hmm. assuming they're willing to ask questions. Otherwise, they're completely lost. Uh, inventory waste. Uh, you know, true transfer knowledge isn't, uh, isn't done until the end of the class. And uh, due to this information overload, the, the inefficiency in the class time and in poor learning accountability, uh, learners leave unprepared. And uh, P green belts have come out of class and then they're in a project and they say, okay, now what do I do? Uh, you've got extra processing waste because you've got, uh, you may have to have two master black belts teaching a large class and, and you pull them out of key things. You'll have uh, the human potential waste. Uh, your, your learner skills atrophy over time. And a huge barrier to successful projects is people that, that don't have the knowledge and the ability to do what they're supposed to do. And uh, so the weakened skills will w really hurt their project potential. And then, you, of course, you have the defects. Uh, in, in several aspects of that, the class material may not be applicable to their actual work because in a classroom environment, to justify the big class, you pretty much do a one-size-fits-all. And... Uh, engineers and accountants in the same class. I, I use that example. That's a, that's a tough audience. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've got to uh, make sure that you've transferred the relevant skills for each group. And uh, you don't have time to work with them individually in, in a total classroom setting. Yeah, definitely. You know, the, the, the couple that stuck out to me as somebody who has, you know, been a lifelong learner is the class goes only as fast as the slowest learner. And the right. slowest learner changes from topic to topic. So, you know, if <laughs> you talk about the first topic with me and I'm the slowest learner at that session, I need you to explain it to me again. It's going to be somebody else the next time that just, you know, sure. they were looking at their phone when you said that critical piece of information or they weren't, you know, focused on it or they just couldn't comprehend the way it was explained that one time. And so suddenly the, the timeline is exponentially larger. Um, you know, and the other big thing that is the MBBs being available and only having a certain amount of, uh, of uh, material, whereas with an online class, if you knew that MBB number one was phenomenal at statistics, could explain it to everybody, and MBB two was great at actually translating information into actionable day-to-day -day type environment, you could have them each focus on their own core competencies and pull it all together into a cohesive, uh, um, you know, educational game plan. Exactly, exactly right. In fact, we did a lot of that at Seagate. Uh, we had specialties in, the, in our master black belts. But in a classroom environment, you'll pull them in to teach specific things. In the, in the blended environment, you can actually make them part of the blended program. Uh, you can, uh, uh, you know, record them or, you know, uh, lots of op opportunities to, uh, to pull in the expertise of the, of the different people.